We saw this one the other day on Danica McKellar's Twitter feed and decided to go ahead and accept the challenge. Well, to start with, we have three smiley faces totaling zero. Well, anytime I add any object together and to come out with a total of zero, each of these must not be worth anything. If we wanted to check, we could use an S for a smiley face to stand for each of these, turn it into an equation, 3S equals zero. Well, we'd get the same result. Each smiley face must be worth zero because zero divided by three is going to give me zero. So when we come down to the next line, we have a smiley face. So we know that's worth zero. And from there, we have two winky faces. So we'll use W to stand for winky face. So zero plus W plus W gives me 20. Well, we know adding zero doesn't change the value. So we can go ahead and just knock that off. So that means our two winky faces together are worth a total of 20. Solving that equation, I can divide each side by two, and when I do, each winky face is going to be worth 10. So when we come down to our next line, our winky face is going to be worth 10. And then we have two more emoji faces with heart eyes. So we'll use an H to stand for hearts on those. So 10 plus two hearts gives me a total of 18. So now we'll solve this equation starting by subtracting 10 from each side. And when we do, that means together our hearts are worth a total of H, of 8. Sorry. So divide each side by 2. And when we do, each heart comes out to be worth 4. So when we come down to our last equation, we have our heart, which was worth 4. We come back up to our smiley face, which was worth 0. But then we're multiplying it by a new emoji. We haven't had any kissy faces along the way. So we still have one missing variable and we need to come out with our total. Well, wait a minute, order of operations tells us multiplication comes before addition. So I'm multiplying zero by some unknown. I don't know what the kissy face is, but I know that anytime I multiply by zero, the product comes out to be zero. So really in this last row, I'm solving four plus zero. So that means our unknown total is simply 4.